Hey guys, welcome to the best mods on the Sony PlayStation 4 for Fallout 4. So the first mod is going to be Marlboro House, which is all the way over here by Hallucigen Incorporated. So usually when you fast travel with Hallucigen, if you've already discovered it, you'll end up here whenever you want to fast travel. Um, but it's, uh, left, right alley, it's your very front alley, there's a discovery location for it. As soon as you discover it, you'll come here. It will say Marlboro House Discovered. There's a, there it is, Power Armor Station right here. I'm sorry I'm not doing this in day, but we'll just have to wait for that. So when you go in, once it loads, might be a while. But when you go in, this place is actually a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was like a mansion or something, but it's not. This is made by Eleanor, so credits to her. So there's nothing, you can't even pick up all the stuff in here. You can't even interact with them. There is decoration, there's couch, armchair, beds, kitchen. It's actually a really nice settlement though, if I can get off of it. Usually I just sit at Sanctuary though, because I really like Sanctuary. So there's an ammo box, weapons locker, and some medics and stuff. So it's just a decent place for you to stay. So on to the next mod. Alright, so this next mod is actually, well these next two mods are actually my favorite mods in the game. For the PlayStation. So this one is Sanctuary Rebuild. It didn't fully rebuild Sanctuary. But you see these lights here. There's all these lights. There's fence. Well I did the fences myself. They're not the best. Um so. Oh gosh didn't mean to do that. Oh, you got auto save here. Alright so we got Mr. Handy. Cosworth. Everybody here. But as far as being rebuilt. It's, it's not the best. But it's really great. But you can also destroy all these places. And I don't remember if all this grass and stuff was here. But anyways, the mod after that is going to be, which is a retexture, graphic texture. So you can guys can see the graphics are actually improved compared to the original version. It's really, really nice. Um, there's also weather effects. Um, I haven't seen any weather yet. But as soon as I started up the game, I really noticed that it was different. So I really enjoy this mod, and it's probably going to be a mod I keep on forever. We'll actually go look at the rocks for the graphic texture. This is also going into the third next mod, which is going to be Overgrowth. So this is the retexture for the rocks. It's a little better. I think it's just more color contrast. So, there's that one. Alright, so this mod is called Overgrowth. And it pretty much, there's a spring one, and there's also the Overgrowth one, which is like fall. So you come here. Or I'm at Red Rocket. It's the closest place that I could find trees. Just going to visit Dog Meat, but I don't even see him. Dog Meat. Usually he's over here. Oh, there he is. How you doing, buddy? Alright, so. Overgrowth. This is Overgrowth. You guys see all this brush here. You guys see the trees are actually different colors. The trees are actually like greenish. So pretty much it's like things are starting to grow back after the bomb dropped. It's actually really nice and it makes the game a lot more immersive in my opinion. And it's probably my favorite. Um, I'm probably going to test out the spring one too for a different mods video. But seeing how there's a disappointing amount of mods on the PS4 version. I really can't t make too many uh, mod videos. But hopefully Sony will get over the point that they can't really do that. Like, it's kind of sad because there's actually more mods for Skyrim on PS4 than there is on for Fallout 4. Which is really weird because they've been out two different periods. So, on to the next mod. Alright, so this very last mod is Kendall Square Apartments. Now, I've been looking for this forever because I thought it was on, like, on the map. But, right after I got a red rocket, I marked it and there was actually a little uh, sewer thing that took me down here. So, I guess it's like an escape route because it is a raider's place. But you guys are going to explore it with me, so I think there's a bunch of raiders we have to kill. But let's get doing this. Um, probably up here, I'm guessing. This is actually really nice. It's kind of dark. South, Commonwealth, Commonwealth. Oh, oh god, not the rads. Okay, so... This one is Defends, Commonwealth, 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 Commonwealth. What are these two? 
Come on, Wolf. Come on, Wolf. Excuse me. So where am I supposed to go here? Oh. It's kind of dark, that's why. So I don't know if there's actually going to be raiders here or not. But we'll figure it out. I'm trying to think what it crouches. There it is. Nothing too big, just a bunch of uh, stuff thrown in so far. How you doing, Piper? Here it goes, what? There's a crafting workshop. Big parking place, I'm guessing. Is this a light switch? Fuse box, activate. Did nothing. Maybe it's this fuse box over here. I don't think I need a crouch. I think the raiders are cleared. But it did say something about raiders on there. Was there not a place I could walk out? I got walked in here. I was like, boom. I don't care for the fact that it's really dark. Um, is there more clues here? I feel like there should be something else down here. Something I'm missing. So this mod is kind of like mysterious. It's one of those mods that you actually have to like do stuff to get to your place. Maybe that's this one has to be red. Down here. Also red. Absolutely nothing. Huh. Oh, maybe they put this here because uh, maybe you need lights. Who knows? So, generator. Why not? I don't, I don't have enough for generators. Ah, what is this? Wait, so I walked up here. There's nothing. There's absolutely oh, there's more upstairs. I'm stupid. Okay. Basement door. Bathroom. Is there stim packs? No. Piper, I swear if you don't move. No, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this is... Oh, gosh. This is really nice. This is a lot better than the Marlboro Mansion. You can actually... There's actually stuff you can take. There's fusion cores, railways. Jeez, pre-war money. Gosh, there's guns here. Oh, these are prototypes. Does it actually work, though? Lucigen suppressor bolt prototype. No. No. Nice. No, these work. Okay, so this mod is actually, oh gosh, this is probably going to be one of my favorite mods. You get weapons, and these are hallucinogen weapons. So let's find it real quick. It's, it's not, where to go? Oh, here it is. Thanks. I didn't even get it. Um, which one's equip? This one. I'm still used to like, so this is pretty much like the deliver. All right, so you get all these weapons, right? You get the deliver, which is pretty much the deliver, like I said. Ooh, but it's got that green smoke to it. We have help wanted, eh? Flucigen Incorporated is, see is seeking research subjects to assist in ongoing testing of non-lethal police military technology. Whether you're considering a career in high-tech research or just in need some extra cash, this exciting opportunity may be for you. Great pay, flexible hours, 
No long-term commitment, no experience necessary to apply, visit our main office. Okay. So you saying these aren't... I don't know. Ruptured hallucinogen gas cancer. So at least take gas. Alright, I'm gonna take all of these anyway. Look at the damage they do. That's actually really nice. This is one is hallucinogen spray prototype. It does a lot of damage too. Oh gosh, you're right there, Piper. You are correct. I do need to put some stuff down. Who's the Lucian filter cloth? I really want that too. Alright, so we're gonna drop some. I'm going to actually drop some stuff that's kinda heavy. Fat man, drop that son of a gun. Flamer. Drop that son again. Kellogg's pistol, don't use it. Don't use this either. Okay, so there's that. So as far as a Piro goes, we just picked that up. Which is yeah, hallucinogen filter cloth. We'll see how that looks. Oh, can I can I look at myself here? Thank you. Actually, it just looks like Piper's pretty much. Wait, come here, play. Oh, I took Piper's off. So, next, we're going to be going upstairs, I'm guessing, into Cambridge. There's supposed to be a, like a nice view somewhere on here. There's a fuse box. I don't want to make sure I don't miss anything. Is there anything behind this desk? There's a, a lot of papers. Fusion cores, don't really need those. This is all locked up. So Cambridge, I guess. Elevator. It says Cambridge, but it's elevator. So this mod has actually turned out to be really, really good. You get three nice weapons. You get a nice uh, little mask that helps for the gas. There's a, it's not, it's open. There's a quest. You kind of got to like figure out what the doors are. There was a help wanted thing. So I don't know if that really leads to anything. I'll check that out. Uh, more towards the end of the video you guys will see that but so we're on to Cambridge but supposedly there's supposed to be like a huge view that you can see it's probably uh probably at the top I would think because you're outside from the videos I watched I only watched one video on it because I was still trying to figure out how to get here because every time I try to fast travel to one place my game would crash this is loading slightly slow I don't know if it's going to crash here or not. Hopefully not. Uh oh. Well. in the sky gazing far into the night I raise my hand